2023 European Figure Skating Championships are coming to a theater near you the same time as the U.S. Nationals. My head already hurts with all of the figure skating. As we all know, the Russians are not eligible to compete at Europeans this year, which means there are lots of opportunities for skaters and federations to medal in an event they otherwise would not have been able to. Starting with probably the less the least affected of all the disciplines by the Russians' absence is the men. This event, like all the other disciplines, is up for grab. However, going based on past competition and personal preference, I can see the men crowning Adam Sion Hemfa as the champion. For me, Adam is the most complete of the male skaters competing at Europeans. Adam is armed with quads, performance ability, and program delivery. He definitely came into his own this season, and I feel like he is the safest bet to make in terms of who will win. My silver medalist is Denis Vasiliev. The judges are always ready to go with Dennis if he gives them the chance. Hopefully, this will be a good competition for Dennis, and he will deliver two clean programs and take home a silver medal. Bronze for me goes to none other than Matteo Rizzo. A fan favorite and judge favorite, Matteo could find himself on the podium if he just delivers the goods that he obviously has. However, this has been an e uneven season for Mateo, so there's no telling how he will perform. But still, if he is able to deliver, I'm putting him on the podium. The pewter medal I'm giving to Daniel Grasso. I know that Daniel will likely end up on the podium. However, his last outings have me questioning his preparedness for this event. Daniel also recently changed coaching team and locations, so we have to see how this will affect them. This is also a chance for all of us to see if the Iteri bonus is still alive and thriving. I hope not, but given the corruption within the ISU, there's no way we can say one way or the other. Rounding off the top five, I have Kevin Amos. I really, really hope Kevin can medal at this European. However, for now, I only have him in the top five. Honestly, I would settle for Kevin skating two clean programs with performances that I can rewatch over and over again. And then rounding up our top six is Morisi Kitalashvili. Morisi is here not because I want to see him here, but because Morisi is the Iteri gift that keeps on giving. And also, there is an outside chance that he might podium here. Uh, for that reason alone, we cannot ignore him, so he is in my top six. Then moving on to pairs, pairs is anyone's game. The winner will literally be decided by whoever has the least amount of mistake. This discipline is currently the weakest internationally. However, again, if we go based on previous competition, I would give the gold medal to Sarah Conti and Niccolo Marci. They are the most consistent pair in Europe right now. No, they don't have any great elements, but they also don't have any offensive element. Their skating is pretty even and well-balanced. So, I feel like if they do what they've been doing all season, they could win the gold. With the silver medal, I'm taking a gamble, and I'm going to go with Lucretia Bercari and Matteo Garizzi. I know this is a new pair, but there is something there with this team. Also, Matteo has lots of experience at high-level competitions, so I think he may be able to draw from that and give him and his partner an advantage. As for the bronze medal, I really see it as a three-way tie. Um, 
Anyone who steps up on the day, I feel like the judges will give it to them. So for this three-way tie, we have um, Rebecca, Rebecca Gilardi and Filippo Ambrosini. They had a fairly good season. They don't have the most difficult elements. However, if they deliver what they can do cleanly, they could end up in the podium. Then we have the husband and wife pair of um, Camille Kovalev and Pavel Kovalev. There's something about this pair's maturity that appeals to me. This is another pair with less difficult content, but who could have a moment if they just go clean. Lastly is Anika Hockey and Robert um, Kunkel. They had a pretty uneven season so far, and I feel like they want to send a strong message to the judges before heading to world. So if they come here prepared and the day deliver, I feel like they can also probably walk away with a bronze medal. However, everyone will have to deliver. Then we move on to ice dance, which should be pretty cut clean in terms of who the gold and silver medalist should be. For the gold, I have um, Charlene Gennard and Marco Fabri. Technically very proficient with two decent programs. Given the field of competitors, that combination of technical soundness and decent program should be enough for Charlene and Marco to walk away with the title. For the silver, I have um, Lila Fear and Lewis Gibson. The fans and the judges may be tempted to give the title to Lila and Lewis. However, in terms of skills, technique, and difficulty, Lila and Lewis are behind the Italians. Do they have the better program? Yes, by a mile. Are they the more entertaining team with great performance delivery? Without a doubt. However, in a skill-based, technically difficult sport like ice dance, likability should not win out over talent. So if both teams are clean, I will give Lila and Lewis the silver. Now, rounding out my podium with the bronze, I have Allison Reed and Seleuce Ambrolusivis. Whew. Um, for me, this team is one of the most underrated pairs this season. They have good chemistry, good skating skills, and two good programs, yet the judges just don't seem inclined to go their way. I really hope the judges finally reward them with a medal at European for their consistency this season. Now, as for the remainder four to six placement, again, it's a tie for me. Any of these pairs could rise to the occasion, starting with Yevgenia um, Lop Loperiva and um, Jeffrey Brissard. They seem to be favored by the judges and their coaching team. While I'm not a fan of either of their program, I can still see them sneaking onto that podium if the judges want them to. Then we have um, Julia Tequila and Matthias Versulus. This is a good pair who is having a difficult season, which has caused them to lose momentum. However, this is a perfect chance for redemption for them. So I see them coming to Europeans with a fight and a hunger. Lastly, we have um, the brother and sister pair of Natalie Tereshlova and Philippe Tereshler. This team is one of the fastest pair on the ice this season. I am not a fan of their spoken word free dance. However, that is not to say they do not give it their all. How, how this will play out, I feel, has a lot to do with both talents and the politics that will take place behind the scene. I cannot wait to see how many of the picks that I have will end up in the top six and where exactly they will end up. And then finally, we have the women. This is the one discipline where the winner is already predetermined 100%. That is to say the gold medal is set aside for the one and only Miss Luna 
Hendricks. This is Luna's gold to lose. The judges have already penciled in her name into first place. And if Luna can manage to stay on her feet and skate a mostly clean program, the title and medal is hers. The silver medal I will give to Ekaterina Karakova. Karakova is having one of her best season to date. Yes, her jumps are very under-rotated. However, the judges and the fans are favoring her and everyone is prepared to reward her for her consistency this season. I think a silver medal at European is a great send-off to her in preparation to world. For the bronze medal, I have Anastasia Gabanova. At the start of the season, I would have said that Gabanova could be the biggest threat to Luna's gold at European. However, this season was not great for Gabanova, who is in the position of rebuilding after not making the Grand Prix final. The judges also have not been very kind to Gabanova, so this is an uphill battle for her. Gabanova needs to not only skate two clean programs, but she also needs other skaters to make mistakes to get on the podium. My possible dark horse for the podium is Nina Petrokina. If other skaters falter and Nina can pull out two clean programs, with a bit of luck, this could be her best showing in her first international medal. And what a place to win it at European. Another passable spoiler is um, Jana Jekinen. The Technic is good with Jana. Although the packaging need work, this is where she is starting to build from. I feel like a medal or a top six finish for Jana would really boast her confidence for next season. Now, rounding out my top six is um, Marilina Kitromilis. Kitromilis. Um, Marilina was out for most of the season, so this outing could be great or a hot mess for her. I lack enough information to decide which one it will be, but I really hope it's a great outing for her. As for the top 7 to 12, it really could be anyone. Personally, I have on my radar um, Leah Senna. I have Lara Naki Gutman. I also have Nicole Schwartz. There's Olga Nicotina. We have Lindsay Von Zunder. There is Josephine um, Tal Jega, one of my favorite, and even Eva Lota Caboose. Any of these ladies can make their mark at European if they just do it. I really want to see which skaters take the opportunity offered to them and run with it. For the first time in years, we are going into Europeans with no idea who the winners will be. Personally, I really love this. The unknown is part of competition that figure skating was missing for a while, and I am glad to see it back. I want to see drama. I want to see triumphs. I want to see heartbreak, and I want it all to be unscripted, as sports should be. Anyhow, this is my take on what I think will happen at the 2023 European Figure Skating Championship, but you guys let me know in the comment how you think things will play out.